Tons of locations have ghost stories associated with them. Is it because of the expansion of the internet that we now see more of these kinds of stories? Who knows honestly. But one location keeps coming up as I dig for weird internet stories. Clinton Road, New Jersey. This windy road has many a story associated with it and has been deemed the most haunted road in America. Before we get into that, I wanted to thank Maz, who suggested I look into this in the comments of another video. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Clinton Road in New Jersey is a 10-mile stretch of road that is surrounded by wilderness. This dark and lonely road is the subject of several ghost stories, urban legends, and myths. From the bridge at Dead Man's Curve, Cross Castle, and all kinds of strange occurrences, Clinton Road has it all when it comes to stories. Let's take a look at a few of these stories. The most common story associated with Clinton Road is that of a dead young boy who hangs out under a bridge. The story goes that the boy was hit by a car and killed on the bridge when he went to pick up a quarter he saw on the ground. Legend goes that if you throw a coin off the bridge, it will summon him and he will return the coin to you by throwing it at you or placing it in the middle of the road. Many have told similar stories. A couple of buddies stopped at Dead Man's Curve and looked down into the murky stream that had coins in the water. One of them threw a quarter in and returned to their car as they were talking about the boy. They claimed that a quarter was thrown back at them and hit the windshield of their car. No one knows what started this story. With so many similar stories, is this the internet helping to push an urban legend? Or maybe a young boy did really die on the bridge and the story was passed along before the internet. I myself can't say one way or the other. Trying to find accidental deaths or any kind of evidence tied to this story, I could come up with nothing. There are so many stories tied to the ghost boy and the bridge that there has to be something that happened to start them. However, we may never actually know. The ghost boy of Dead Man's Curve may be the most common story, but it isn't the only story to come from Clinton Road. Along the stretch of highway sits the Clinton Furnace, and just beyond that is Cross Castle, also known as Bear Fort, named by the man who built it, Richard J. Cross. Cross Castle was like something from a fairy tale or gothic English novel. In 1917, Cross died and his family sold the property to the city of Newark. Most of the castle would burn to the ground, leaving the stone walls the only thing remaining. This became a place where hikers, teenagers, and even Satan worshippers would congregate. Was Cross Castle tied to something more sinister, or was it merely the stuff of legends? Eyewitnesses have several claims about the castle, and I'll share them with you in their own words. Back in 1979, I went to the castle for the first time. We'd tell people about the Jackson Whites, who would cut a tree to block the road. Then when you would turn around, you'd find they had cut another one down. That's when they would get you. Who would get you? The Jackson Whites? Were these people tied to the Satan worshippers or KKK or worse? There isn't any specific on the Jackson Whites other than claims that they were an albino village associated with the area that could not be substantiated and digging. I can't find any more on nearby albinos or anything like that, but people have had such claims made about Cross Castle and areas surrounding Cross Castle. One time when a bunch of us climbed up the walls, we did see something. We were up there and saw two white figures. They were about a hundred yards away from our friends on the ground. They couldn't see them from their vantage point. They came to within a hundred yards of the group and then disappeared into the woods. When we got back to terra firma, we told them about it and that's when the stories about the albino village started coming out and friends told us about this village in the woods. As I said, these claims can't be substantiated. Digging into the area, there's nothing associated with albinos or anything that Sly, who told this story, was trying to push forward. Two friends, brothers who I will call Bill and John, regularly took excursions through areas of West Milford known for their legends. They were driving down Clinton Road 
both noticed a bonfire near Cross Castle. As they drew closer, they saw a group of people dressed in robes around the bonfire. They could make out the leader, who was dressed in typical KKK regalia, one of the members of this meeting, spotted them and called out to stay where they were. Of course, John and Bill took off to their car and left. Their quote-unquote hooded friends got into their vehicles and began chasing them. John and Bill said they were wielding shotguns. So Cross Castle even attracted the KKK. All of these varying accounts from people showed the weirdness associated with Cross Castle and Clinton Road itself. There are so many stories associated with Cross Castle specifically that I could spend hours talking about them. And maybe I will at some point in the future. However, this video is about Clinton Road as a whole and all of the strangeness associated with it. So let's move on. Clinton Road has, of course, ghost stories, creepy castle, and even alien. That's right, aliens, including low flying saucers and flashing lights. According to a few stories tied to the road, Shawnee and Jay both had their own accounts of encounters with UFOs on Clinton Road. I too have seen a UFO on Clinton Road. It was mad low in the sky and was so big that it looked like it could fit a small army in it. Then in the blink of an eye it was gone. We were at Clinton Road one night. As we went further, we saw lights, hundreds of them, on both sides of the woods. Blue ones, red ones, white ones. We got so freaked out as we were going 75 miles per hour on this 35 mile an hour road. The lights would keep up with us. If we stopped in the middle of the road, they would stay there on each side. Suddenly, they vanished. Weird, right? Aliens, creepy castles, ghost stories, all associated with Clinton Road and so much more. This is why Clinton Road is labeled the scariest road in the United States. With everything surrounding, I can see why. I can't make a claim to any of it being true, but the fact that so many people have stories and well, similar stories make one wonder. I definitely want to dig into Cross Castle further as I stated before and will most likely make a video directly on the castle. However, again, I want to thank Tomaz I know this was kind of a short video, but I just wanted to share a little bit about Clinton Road as, well, there's so much to it. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to like, share, and comment. As usual, if you have anything you want me to cover, let me know in the comments or on Twitter. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next episode of Remy.